This local sports report is presented by the Fence and Deck Experts, a proud supporter of the Wilmot Wild. Check out the Fence and Deck Experts for professional work and quality service. They make your backyard an extension of your living space, installing custom decks with pressure-treated or composite wood with a glass railing. They also offer a variety of fence options, from wood to vinyl to chain link. Call now to get a quote at 519-804-3325. That's 519-804-DECK. Welcome lacrosse fans here to Wilmot Recreation Complex for game two of the 2023 Meredith Cup Finals of the Junior C League. And the wild pick it off is Coverdale over to Crisco. Crisco looking for the shot, he scores! Some defensive guys for the wild making things happen. Kodiak's doing a good job on those rebounds. They push it over, and looking for Greer. And Greer evens this up, Benjamin Clement, feeding Greer, striking down. Makes his presence known here early in the first period. Greer picking up the loose ball again, going to the net, and he scores again! Mere seconds, and right off the draw, and Greer, that's his second goal. As the Kodiaks strike fast. Looking to get a little movement from the defense. And Brennicky takes a shot and he snipes it! Underhand shot goes high! That's the way you fire it. Change the directory on the shot. And the Wild get a power play goal here and tie this up. Matthew Lefebvre just over to the right, left side. Like Beliveau swings it over to William Capella. Capella tries a backhand pass over to Anthony Capella. He picks it up and scoops it in behind Aiden Kelly as they take a 3-2 lead, giving them possession after possession. We got a Kodiak down, looks hurt. They'll blow the whistle and Anthony Capella has a shooting lane to the net and he buries it. As he looks for an outlet, nice outlet pass there to Bogstad. Bogstad, two on one, takes a shot. And the Wild, not hustling back on defense. You're gonna have to change some things up here. Brings over to William Capella, looking for a streaking. Greer and Greer gets his hat trick. Natural hat trick here in the first period with Greer with his third goal. As we got a couple of guys in the box, they're not offsetting, so four on four for about 50 seconds. As Brennicky takes the feed from Brindamore, and that's exactly what the Wild needed to start this second period. Capella on the right, trying to feed it down to William Capella, gathers up the loose ball. Nice little give and go. And William Capella. Tips it in over on the short side over Aiden Kelly. As Crisco comes out of the box, the Kodiaks make it 7-3 and still have the power play going five on four. Just running out of real estate there. And a fast break going the other side. And look, they turn it and they score! Benjamin Clement! On the fast break, power play goal. As a Kodiaks strike again. As Anthony Capella takes a big shot from outside. And then Greer picks up, I think, his fourth goal of the game. From outside, that just kind of handcuffs Kelly late in the shot clock. Not the start that the Wild wanted here for the third period. As the Kodiaks take a 9-3 lead, just 35 seconds here into the third period. 
Warren drives it down the lane on the left-hand side, looking for, not sure who there, but it's like McDonald picked it up, but he's trying to go to the crease, but they push him into the net. And a little bit of a late shove there. I think the Souza's here has got the cross-checking call, I believe. But Warden mess mucking it up there. With Gabriel Montreux. Chilton up to Brennicky. Brennicky winds up. And he fires for his second of the game. It's been almost a full period, if not more, since Brennicky's last strike. And he seems to be the only outside shot that's getting the best of Tardif as he fires that low to high shot from outside. The well played game by the Kodiaks and frustrating. A wild all game, but it's a seven game series. As the Kodiaks are going back to home four, up by two. And the Wild will look to regroup. Wilma, they're a great team. They give us a lot of uh, hard times in these games. We had to dug deep. But I mean, we're, we're a really tight group of guys, and we just, you know, trusted each other. And some guys made big plays, and we just got the win. But I gotta say, Wilma, they're a great team, and they give us a hell of a challenge. I mean, two wins on the road like that, that's huge. But like you said, like Kobe said, I think back in 01, job's not finished. We got to stay calm. We got to stay poised. We got to do what we got to do. And, you know, we got to come hard at home with the next two games because, like I said, they're a really good team. Our last series against the PN Knights, great team. We had difficulty on the road, and that was one thing that we really wanted to improve on. And, you know, getting these two wins away really means the world. Um, and, you know, we're going to go back home and hopefully get the job done. Uh, we're undefeated at home all season, so we're looking forward to getting that done.